Whoa, she's hunting. She knows her prey needs to surface to breathe, so she lies in wait, ambush style, for what's swimming below to pop up. Could be a beluga whale or a seal. Or maybe... I think the crew might want to see this. Deploy fly cam. Hmm. A walrus! <laughs> <laughs> Martin usually wears blue, but he looks pretty good in green. <laughs> if the Crap Rose had a comedy show, I'd totally watch it. I think we just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have a lock on their coordinates, Koki? Yep. 66 degrees north, 65 degrees west. Now, it looks like there's a hectic blizzard to the west, but the bros are all clear. Ready for liftoff, Jimmy Z? Not yet. The joystick is stuck! Oh, so that's where it went. Oh. Teleportation delivery is out of here. Polar bears need to be patient and focused. Unlike you, Martin. But they can wait for hours for their prey to pop up. What do you think? Oh, wait's over. Huh? What's that? Hey guys, did you get the package? Yeah, but your delivery was a little off. <laughs> nice reaction time, dude! <laughs> Our weak kicker won! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready, I've modified your creature power suits for Arctic survival. You know the drill? Touch the animal, hit the button, and listo! You've got creature power! What? I was almost chewed by a polar bear, and now I have to touch one to activate my suit? <laughs> Ciao. Ah, she's parking her cub, telling him to stay behind while she hunts. Better listen, Poby. Poby? Yeah, Poby. Polar bear, Poby. They don't see me. My iceberg disguise is working. Somebody pinch me. Ow! I didn't mean literally. Well, it looks like the Brainless Brothers have a dancing bear. <laughs> Not for long. Look at that. She blends right into the ice and snow. With that Arctic camouflage, the walrus don't even see her. Oh, it just gets better. Oh, the more dancing varmints, the merrier. Oh, the crowd's gonna love it. And I, Zach Varmatek, will be so rich, it'll make your head spin. Hey, I didn't mean literally. Now, go catch those puppies. Whoa, she's attacking! The walrus can hardly move up here. They're like big blubbery caterpillars. Made it! Barely! The bear is in control on land, and the walrus rules the water. Whoa! Whew! We've been working non-stop. How about a snack break? Huh? Bark? You're kidding me. You expect me to eat a bark sandwich? Oh, you're eating that soft inner layer of bark, the cambium. Huh. Uh, can I at least get some jelly with that? <laughs> bark sandwiches are popular around here. Wow, the habitat the beaver makes even helps creatures like a moose. Moose eat water plants from the beaver pond and love to eat the bark and twigs from new plants that grow in here. Do you realize how special you are? Wood, mud. No other animal can do what you do. Collect supplies to build something that completely changes the environment. Look, Timber. It's filling up. We're doing it, Timber. The pond is coming back. By the way, I get that the pond is great for so many creatures around here, but why do beavers need a pond? Yikes! Wolf! Timber, look out! Ah, the beaver tail slap! That's an alarm sound that tells all the other beavers to the water! <gasps> Woohoo! I get it! I get it! The pond is your safety zone. When you're in the water, you've got one up against a wolf or any other predator. 
Some animals use quills to defend themselves or a hard shell. You create a huge safety zone of water by using your dam building skills. <laughs> All clear. Martin, come in. Go, Chris. We're ready for more logs on the dam. One more load and we'll be able to bring all the animals home. Oh, no problem. We've got the last load all set to go. More wood coming right up. What? No, 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 not that way! Oh, no. Oh, stop! Oh, whew. I thought it was gonna land right on our dam. No! Oh. Oops. Well, you said you needed more wood. This windstorm came out of nowhere. We're not going anywhere. We're too light. I know. We're running out of energy. Fast. Oh, is that is that's Maxilla! Oh, number 12 with the curled antenna. She's going down. And so are we. When you're in trouble, nature's know-how can pull you through. Hey, a boat! Whoa, everybody's waiting out the windstorm. Yeah, a butterfly only weighs about as much as three tissues. So when it's windy or rainy, they just have to sit tight. <laughs> I wonder who the nice people are that are letting us all rest on their boat. Butterflies, <gasps> get them. No free rides today. Catch those barrettes, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Wind levels are down, ready for takeoff. Hurry, dude, here comes Stavio! Whoa! Ooh, nice day for a swim. I will get those butterfly barrettes if I have to go to the end of the Earth to do it. Mission Monarch, day 36. The cold weather is on its way up here. All the milkweed plants that the monarch caterpillars need to eat are dying. With no food and cold weather on its way, it's no wonder the monarch's headed down to warmer weather. Chris, Martin, and Maxilla have made it 1,600 kilometers and counted. We've just received word from a creature teamer that they made it to Georgia about two-thirds of the way to Mexico. Hey, want to see a loop-de-loop? Whoa! Yeah, Maxilla, we're doing about 190 kilometers a day. Pretty good pace. <laughs> I'd say it'll be smooth sailing from here. Maxilla! She's gone. Gone? Where'd she go? There! Oh, no! You're right, Martin. Now she does need our help. <laughs> Hang on, Maxilla. I'll get you out. <laughs> Martin, I'm behind you! <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm too late. Nice, Spider. Okay, we're just passing through. Whoa! Oh, got you, bro. I can't believe it. Why did the spider cut her loose? Why did he let her go? Monarchs <laughs> taste bad. Yeah, I'll stick to hot dogs. No, really, it says right here that they're poisonous. Look at this. All it takes is for a predator to try eating a monarch once, and he gets so sick that he'll never eat another one as long as he lives. So that's why the spider didn't eat Maxilla. He knows monarchs are poisonous. Wow. It really helps to have a few tricks like that when you're on a 4,800 kilometer journey. Over forests, through cities, until after 3,200 kilometers, the butterflies have to pass through this thin strip of land to their final destination, Mexico. <laughs> Oh, the honey badger is tough. So tough, Helene will think twice about tangling with him. Wow. That puts the honey badger right up there with the African honeybee on the tougher meter. Tie for now. 
And the honey badger has a fierce sweet tooth too. He's still following the honey guide. Honey badger and honey guide. Now that is a dynamic duo. Let's program some creature power suits. I'm with you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wants honey guide powers and who wants honey badger? Ooh, oh, ooh, honey, honey, badger, badger, honey badger! Honey badger! Honey badger over here! Did you have to ask? Hey, it's my turn for the more powerful creature. Chris, I had caterpillar powers last time. Well, a butterfly isn't exactly powerful. I should have the badger powers because that lion's mad at me for bumping him. I gotta watch my back. Yeah, but if I had badger powers, I could watch your back. Uh, guys, you're not gonna have any powers. Because the animals you have to touch to get the powers are getting away. Uh-huh. What? He is following <gasps> Wildcrats and Honey. The little bird did it. Let us right to the honey. And now it's the honey badger's turn to do his thing. Oh, nobody can be that tough. Ooh, he's gonna get so stung. <laughs> Ow! I feel your pain. No animal can survive that many bee stings! He's gonna run! I didn't see that coming! Whoa! <laughs> of course! Honey badgers are members of the weasel family. And they shoot a stinky spray from beneath their tails. Just like his cousin the skunk. Except the honey badger also uses his stinky spray like a living can of bee repellent. <laughs> can it smell be ferocious? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> but if it can, <laughs> this one is. <laughs> He'll actually attack a swarm of stinging bees. And stand up to a lion. The, the honey, honey badger, badger is the, the toughest, toughest animal, animal in Africa. Africa. Yep. He scores a 9.5 on the Wildcrats tough meter The toughest yet! But as tough as he is, he still has a little friend. Sweet Tweet. And Tuffo. Two very different creatures working together. One is the guide, one grabs the goods. And they both get food. Now that's a cool symbiotic relationship. And I can finally have breakfast. <laughs> <laughs>